Hello, hello, Torah community. It's Rav Natan here to share with you some words of Torah for this week's Parsha, Parsha Vayeshev, also leading into Hanukkah coming up uh, and our winter break coming up um, next week. Parsha Vayeshev, at a certain point, the brothers, after a little bit of uh, tension and anger at Yosef, have left to go and shepherd sheep. Um, Yosef is sent by his father to go and look for his brothers. Pasuk says, And he sent him out of the valley of Hebron. So the Mepharshim ask, specifically Rashi asks, wasn't Hebron on a mountain? And the answer is that this reference to Hebron isn't just saying a place where Yosef was going to look for his brothers, but rather referencing the person who was buried in Hebron, Avram. And the promise that was made to Avram that one day his descendants would be strangers in the land of Mitzrayim. And Yosef, right now, going to his brothers is going to be the beginning of that process where he's going to get thrown in the pit, sent to Mitzrayim, and going to be the beginning of that prophecy to Avram coming true. Now, whether or not that's exactly why the text uses Hebron is less important as what Rashi is trying to teach us through this idea that when the text mentions Hebron and Rashi and our sages pick up on the fact that it's a reference to Avraham, what it's really showing us is that even though for Yaakov and Yosef, this was a very normative interaction of sending him to go check on his brothers, but it has big divine implications and Hashem is actually pulling the strings of this tiny interaction and journey of Yosef to go look on his, look, check on his brothers and leading it to have a a part in the grand divine story of ultimately having the prophecy fulfilled. And so the message here is that a small interaction, conversation, action of Yosef and Yaakov's direction really is playing a part in the greater story of history that Hashem is directing. And this is also echoed by the Ramban and others describing how this person who gives Yosef directions a few seconds later says we don't we're not told the identity of this person to emphasize that this uh, interaction was orchestrated by Hashem to be able to facilitate history and what Hashem wanted ultimately. And then this is a message for us going into Hanukkah, where Hanukkah is a holiday in which through eight days, we fill ourselves and our homes with the light of the Hanukkiah, with the light of Hashem, with the light of the Beit HaMikdash, and then Hanukkah is over. And by the end of Hanukkah, our goal is that we can see that light in the normal, everyday interactions, conversations, and happenings of our own life, to see even the basic as very divine. And so my bracha to all of us for this parsha, for Hanukkah, and really for winter break as well, because we're going to be doing all kinds of things, but to see the divine in the small, in the everyday, in the interactions, the conversations, and the events of our lives, so that we could ultimately not only be a part of the story Hashem is writing for history in our lives, but appreciate it. Shabbat Shalom, and ultimately Chanukah Sameach.